Um, Emily. Hey, JJ. Hey, uh, I requested uh, Vinay to see if he can run. Uh, I have like this bad throat and cough thing. So I'll listen in. Right? Okay. okay. Gonna... Good morning or good afternoon. All right, everyone, we're going to give folks a couple more minutes to get dialed in. Vinay, are you good to facilitate? Yes. Awesome song. Uh, yeah, I'll take two minutes to, to set up the document and stuff, I guess. It's already set up. We're ready for you to run it. All right. <laughs> we just yeah. need scribes. Yeah. Well, welcome everyone. Uh, once again, uh, we typically start give everyone about a couple minutes. Maybe we'll start at 10.02 and take it from there. Please uh, feel free to add your name to the attendance uh, list for today. Sorry, Vinay, can you just put a quick link to that doc again? Uh, sure. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Sure thing. Thanks, Ash and JJ, for volunteering to be scribes for today. Uh, I'm estimating that the, the load will be a little light today. All right, everyone, let's get started. Uh, uh, maybe just to uh, recap, uh, I mean, go through the list and then I'll do a really recap. Uh, does uh, Anybody have anything that they would like to uh, update the team, uh, the group on, uh, anything that you'd like to discuss at this time? I don't see any updates at this point, but I just wanna make sure that everybody has had a chance to update the list. I actually have one. Oh, yep. Go ahead, uh, uh, Emily. I totally forgot about it. Um, so. Big news, everybody. We now have an APAC region SIG security meeting set up and scheduled. The PR was merged into the repo. So if you're interested, go check out the meeting information. This is a huge thing for us because now it means that we can increase the amount of SIG contributors and take on the activities that we've been talking about for a long time with more and more involvement. So this is a really great thing for us. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, and uh, thanks, Emily. As I go down the list, uh, uh, Magno, uh, I see you have something that you'd like to talk about. Please go ahead. Hi. Yes. Um, so I've contacted Jen Burns from MITRE, and she agreed to speak with us on our uh, meeting on February 10th. So I submitted a ticket for that. So if everybody's okay, she would come and, and speak with us show uh, what are the goals for the attack for containers and how we can help 
uh, providing any uh, feedback or any information that would be helpful for the matrix attack and, and everything related also to uh, if they're planning on um, doing like a separate one for Kubernetes or just the same one and everything else. And, and that, that's it. And for um, another thing that I have is that I've created a ticket also to start a translation of the cloud native uh, security white paper for Portuguese. And I have a group of people interested. So we're probably gonna start that off uh, probably this week or the next one. Uh, and it should be done, uh, I think, in four to six weeks. Awesome. That's fantastic. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Magno. Yeah, it'll be uh, interesting to hear from uh, um, Jen on how we can, you know, map the MITRE attack uh, framework to a lot of the, to Kubernetes and containers in general. That's awesome. So I don't see uh, uh, any other updates uh, today. Um, and maybe uh, maybe I can just take this opportunity to put a couple of folks on the spot. I know last couple of weeks we had some great presentations on, you know, supply chain security and, uh, you know, the uh, this is the supply chain working group. I mean, uh, Jonathan, would you like to maybe just recap on where we landed? Uh, if there's no other, maybe sure. we spend five minutes on this, and then because I know there's a lot of stuff that we talked about. Maybe we can just do a quick recap and figure out what the, maybe the next tactical steps, how we can all figure out how we can contribute to that. Sure, uh, happy to. So um, we uh, formed the working group a couple of weeks ago. We, we initially provided a presentation looking at software factories and some of the thoughts uh, a group of us had put together around software factories. Myself, uh, Andrew Martin and Sabri Blackman from Control Plane and uh, Justin Cormack from, from Docker. Um, it's really just some of the thoughts that we put together on, on software factories and how we could perhaps create one and some of the challenges we were thinking through around how we could um, improve the provenance of the code that we were creating and sending through that pipeline using potentially Spiffy and Intoto, which we're still working on. But the, the wider scope of that was really a, a sort of a call to arms to ask people to join uh, and perhaps form, which we've now done, uh, a working group to look at supply chain security uh, with the aim of putting together a, a white paper, an architecture, and potentially a reference uh, implementation. Well, it's a, a fairly significant uh, amount of stuff for a working group um, to look at how, um, you know, how we can provide best practices on uh, supply chain security. So we're now in a working group that's been created. Um, we also have a Slack channel. Um, and we have a shared document that we're starting to um, add to, or we will be, we're, we're doing it independently and pasting it in. And the idea is to initially put together a white paper of best practices uh, and identify gaps in, in perceived gaps in the supply chain, and then look at how we could provide an architecture to uh, provide that capability. The end goal there is a number of different end goals, but it would be It'd be really beneficial, we believe, that to provide a architecture that people could look at and potentially start to adopt uh, in the open source forum, so that um, you know they can adopt that uh, that architecture and have a build platform that would then be somewhat secure and have the ability to deploy secured artifacts that are signed with S bomb material, perhaps um, as a way of improving uh, the security throughout. So really, that that's kind of the goal. Um, I'll, I'll certainly post a link to the uh, to the white paper and to the to the working group. I think it was issue five ten, uh, where you can take a look and see um, the the conversation uh, as it stands. We have quite a number of people offering to assist and go through that, which is fantastic. And the way I think we'll start to look at it is having people adopt or suggest topics for that white paper, and we'll progress that way. We do have a working group meetings on Fridays at 4.30 uh, GMT uh, at the moment. That was just how, uh, given the, the, the locales of the people involved, we certainly change that if, if additional people are looking to join. And I think the next um, session, we, we, we're, we're possibly gonna dig into that in toto um, and the, the signing piece, figure out how we could work with those keys as well as the, the white paper itself. Um, one thing I, did miss out there was there was a, a really really good 
um, um, presentation last week by the, the recall team um, that had a, a heavy supply chain element. I'd recommend people take a look at that. Um, and, and also, obviously, a lot of the work that we're looking at is based on DevSecOps um, principles from the, the Department of Defense, uh, which is a document that you can read on the internet. That's awesome. Thank, thanks a lot, Jonathan. So a lot of stuff uh, there, uh, everyone, and this, I think there'll be fantastic opportunity to contribute towards uh, the architecture and the white paper there. And I think we have all the links uh, up on the chat. Um, and maybe I'll take some time to maybe transfer a lot of those links to our uh, uh, meeting notes as well. Um, yeah, we're certain, certainly welcome for, for anyone to, to assist and help with, um, there's a lot of work to do there and it's a, it's a, uh, it's a key area that uh, a lot of people are really interested in and contributing. So uh, certainly open to all. Right. And Jonathan, think, uh, Ava sorry, makes right. a good point about the Linux Foundation having a couple of other projects and efforts that are working on um, supply chain security. So maybe reach out um, to those different groups and find out where they're at in those discussions and see if there's some cross foundation collaboration that can happen. Great call out as well. I'm so, so happy to connect as well. Uh, one of the founding members of, I think both of those foundations is here in Microsoft with me. So. Please, if you could reach out to, to, to me uh, and I'll reach out to you to, to connect that because um, that, that's definitely something that we'd, we'd like to do. We, we, we have made initial uh, conversations with the Open uh, SSF um, and I, I think there's um, there's additional work happening in the SBOM community. There's a number of different SBOM communities that we're trying to tie into this as well. Uh, great point, Emily, though, because so, the, there is a huge amount of work in individual pockets. So that's one of the sort of suggestions we're, we're sort of pointing out. What we're trying to do is, is trying to connect those dots and, and try and reach out to those different groups and perhaps provide that architecture across the top because we see it as there's, there's individual point solutions for these different areas, but not necessarily joined up approach. Given the, that this is a CNCF working group, I, I would assume that the focus is gonna be on the CNCF projects and workflows, whereas I know both OpenSSF and CD Foundation are looking at the broader like open source as a whole so there's probably some good tie-ins there, but the scoping of this is very different. We, we, we're actually keeping it fairly generic, but but also very cognizant of making sure we connect to those exact groups. So I I, I didn't mention them earlier on, but we, we are trying to reach out to those groups. Uh, I'm, I'm certainly uh, working with a couple of members of OpenSSF, and we, we do want to expand that. So we're not duplicating any of that work, but just pointing to it. Um, I'll happily connect you. Yeah. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Uh, thank, thanks, Jonathan. Thank you all for the comments. Uh, and um, let me see. Well, I don't see uh, any other uh, topics that we want to uh, have covered here. So, uh, do we know uh, what we can, what we have set up for next week? Uh, so, Vinay, we actually have two things on the agenda. Um, oh. We have issue four twenty two. Oh, okay. And Got then we have issue 514. Okay, so uh, do we want to talk about that? Or who wants to talk about issue 422? So I think I'm kind of on the hook for both of those. Okay. Uh, so I'm dropping 422 in the chat because that's the first one. Um, so for those of you that are new or um, have been super busy doing a lot of other things. I've been going through the repo and trying to clean up some of the outstanding issues that we've had for a long period of time, seeing if we actually miss stuff. Issue 422 is one of the issues that we missed. Um, so this is a suggestion from the community about um, kind of including hardening binaries through our recommendations. Um, to projects that are coming through our security assessment process or incorporating this concept into other documentation or conversations that we have in the cloud native community. And that's kind of the extent of my knowledge in this particular area. The issue has a ton of information on it with a lot of excellent resources. And I wanted to bring it up because one, I'm not an expert in this area, but two, 
I wanted to get the community's feedback on whether or not they see this as a potential worthwhile effort, something that we can easily incorporate into our existing processes, or whether or not this is a much larger ask by the community to kind of push this, and if it's a worthwhile effort to push into the community. The first thing that comes to mind there is you'd have to do it in a, a little more language agnostic way than what this issue shows, but um, it's worth considering. And we, we've talked in the past, or at least we've had other discussions for potential efforts about um, setting up automated hardening for cloud native product projects in their development. That way they they have like a standard framework to be leveraging to ensure that like the base distribution of all cloud native projects is secure. So I'm not quite sure how this fits in with that, but I do know that we've talked about that in the past. Um, I think there was a proposal on it, but I don't have the, the ticket number if it was even a ticket. Maybe I'd like to uh, have a sound out a few thoughts, Emily, is, uh, I mean, uh, if uh, we can definitely have these guidance kind of uh, documents and made available to all the project teams and uh, and make them aware of, uh, you know, let's say, hardening flag, if you will, uh, as we perform assessments. So that's, that's one way. And the second way to only, how do you say, test and enforce it is, you know, I don't know when, we, maybe the first meeting of this year, we talked about this, uh, the automation that you talked Talked about right when we the automated and security uh, scans, if you will, generically speaking. If we're able to do that, then that would be a, this would be a great uh, uh, dimension to that effort as well. So I think there is some correlation there. Let's say start with the scan, right, and then add in hardening. Hard, hardening sounds great. I know if we had this conversation ten years ago, there would be a good chance of breaking things. I think that sort of decreased a lot, but um, some folks are still going to be worried about that, I think. Yeah, uh, I agree. And I'm sorry, just to clarify, I'm only talking about from a guidance perspective, right? Okay, so, sorry, I missed that uh, word. Yeah, the, the, the owners of the projects, we're just saying, hey, this is something that we are familiar with, we provide guidance on, and we ran your project through our flags, if you will, and this is what we found missing, and you know, not to break anything from their pipeline perspective. At least that's my sense, uh, given where we are today. All right, Emily, um, would you like to talk about uh, the second issue, the CGAP delivery operator white paper, please? Yes. Okay. So CGAP delivery. So CNTF has a ton of, a ton of SIGs. Some of our members are members of other SIGs. Um, and this uh, SIGAP delivery reached out to me. Um, they're looking for a security perspective on their operator white paper that they're writing. Um, this is a new effort for them. They have a current draft going on and uh, they actually have a specific issue, um, the first issue associated with where they're looking for help, which um, is, I'm pulling it up right now, about building trust, documentation, security constraints, implementation, metrics, and user observation. So what they're really looking for is to have a SIG representative or a few SIG representatives jump in and help in this particular area of their white paper. They're not looking right now to rehash the entire draft that they have. That'll be probably later review phase for those of you that remember the cloud native security white paper. We wrote all the content and then we opened it up for reviews. This is more about contributing specific security focused content to an operator white paper. So this is a good opportunity to get to know other members of um, different SIGs as well as get some cross SIG exposure from a security perspective. I was hoping that I could get a few volunteers to jump on this effort. It doesn't appear to be a huge ask, not anywhere near as monstrous as writing the white paper for us was, um, but I, I would certainly expect it to be a couple of hours um, over the course of two weeks, potentially, maybe a little bit more. This is something um... I'd be happy to jump in with. We've done a, a bit of threat modeling around operators and mutable states and stuff. Um, is there any indication of timescales? 
Not that I know of. So um, the ticket actually has the POCs for it. So I would recommend reaching out to them and jumping in the SIG app delivery channel. So Cameron and Andrew, if you guys could comment on the ticket that you're interested in and then jump over into the SIG app delivery channel and let them know that you guys are going to get on that and help them out. That would be great. And we would love to hear at another meeting about how it's going. Same goes yep, for anybody we'll that's interested. Awesome. Thanks, thanks, Emily. And uh, I guess uh, the for the folks who volunteered, please uh, you know chime in on on that ticket and make sure that you you have all the necessary resources and get connected. Uh, did I miss anything? And sorry, I'm going to look to you, Emily. Did I did we cover all the uh, agenda items? I think that was actually everything that we had legitimately written down. Okay. Uh, um, next week, though, we've got uh, the security scanning presentation from Shupra Kar, which was a request from uh, Liz Rice in the talk to have that presentation to us, which if anybody saw that thread um, on the mailing list, it was a fascinating thread, lots of great dialogue. So hopefully um, we can get a lot of attention to that presentation because it sounds like it's going to be amazing. Awesome. Well, um, I'm going to open it up once again. Any folks, any comments, uh, any updates, anything interesting you'd like to share that we might have all missed? Not. Thank you very much and uh, looking forward to the presentation next week. Don't miss it. Have a great week, everyone. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye.